Hello, hello everyone, and welcome uh, back uh, to the show. Uh, so, um, just want to say hello to everyone at home uh, tuning in t um, and watching us on Montclair Public Access TV3. And uh, we're going to continue uh, taking your calls. It is, it is, uh, it is Easter Sunday. And what 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 a uh, what a perfect day for for the show. I think this is just what everyone needs after their dinners. I think. <laughs> so um, we invite you to call in um, to the number below on the screen. It's uh, five one zero. Oh. 306-1097 and uh, we're just going to continue uh, taking calls so if anyone has any um, any any stories they'd like to share perhaps about their their Easter Sunday or or, or they have uh, some advice that they are seeking we invite you to call in and we won't say any more and we'll just go right to the calls hello caller you're you're live on the air with with Richard how are you doing uh, this evening? Hi, Richard. How's it going? It's going very well. It's going how's your, very how's well. How's your Easter? Uh, sorry? Hi, Richard. How's it going? Ah, that's good to hear. Yes, yeah, so it's good. I woke up and I found my basket and it was full of dildos and heroin. Okay. <laughs> Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish on the uh, chat line. How was? Tell me about your uh, your dinner. How how was it? How was your your um, your Easter dinner today? Oh man, Richard, <clears throat> I had this is probably the worst Easter I've had in a while. Um, Why? What? What's wrong? What happened? Most, my family they all died on a tragic car accident last year. Um, I so I, I moved. I moved to West Philadelphia. Um, I, I, it wasn't a very good Easter for me today. I, it was just me alone. I mean, I'm just happy to be here with y'all. I just wanted to see how y'all were doing today. I just wanted to see if you guys were doing good. Well, we're, we're, I'm doing very well. I'm very sorry to hear about um, the passing of, of your family. I must be a very, a very difficult thing. Um, to go through every year, but you know, try and remember that they're they're all in a in a great place. They're in God's they're in God's care now, and and you know, it's, things happen for a reason. Yeah, I mean, it's really just me and my uh, my three buddies, Aaron, Dan, and Josh. I mean, but they're all in Michigan right now. I'm I'm all alone out in West Philadelphia. And I, I, I'm just really lonely right now, but I'm really happy to see your show. And Richard, you, you're looking pretty good, man. You got the fresh glasses on, bro. But I. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, you're, you're, you're. Um, let's just say that you're more than welcome here. Let us be your family, and let us welcome you. Welcome you to 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 come and share, uh, come and share the show with us. You know, and and and. and you're amongst friends. Thank you, thank you, Richard. I had, I had some questions um, about your Bible. I was thinking of purchasing it. So, uh, could you tell me a little bit about your Bible? Well, uh, I the Bible. I just my Bible. Um, we just have the King. We just. I don't have. Um, we just follow the King James Bible, actually. Uh, I don't the have neon, a the neon I don't Bible. Have, you call it? The Rick, Rick James. Hello. King, yeah. King James Bible. Rick. Hello, caller, and welcome to the program. Hi, Richard. How's it going? It's going very well. How how was your how was your Easter, caller? Oh, my, my dinner was fantastic. It was really delicious, and I really I went to the soup kitchen and I helped eat the hot dog too. Oh well, that's very that's very that's very honorable of you. It sounds like you've had a very spiritually rewarding and, and a very you know self rewarding Easter. It was great. 
and then I had rough sex with all the men. Hello, caller. Uh, you're live on the air. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Um, I, I just uh, I just had a quick question in regards to um, Dad's cream. Uh, we got our neon Bibles. My whole family. We got twelve of them. Uh, they came yesterday, which was perfect timing for. Okay. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on the, the, the program. I'm your host, Richard Burnish. How, uh, tell me about your Easter. Fuck! Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, we're having a, a bit of a technical um, technical issue um, with with our uh, sound, but um, I believe we've sorted out, and we will uh, continue taking your calls. So, um, please, uh, the number's on the bottom. So, once again, hello to everybody uh, in Montclair, watching us on Public Access uh, Montclair TV three. So, caller, um, you're live on the air with uh, Richard Burnish on the Jesus chat line. Welcome to the program. What's your name? Um, uh, my name is Tristan. Okay. Well, welcome to the show. And I just, oh, and I just wanted to say, uh, hell, say it. <laughs> Hello, caller. Uh, welcome to the program. Hello, Richard. This is uh, Pastor Matt. Hello, Richard. Okay, well, well welcome to the show. Uh, I, I always like hearing from a, from a fellow minister. <laughs> how was... Yes, I was wondering how you, you uh, people run your, your church. Is this all online, or is this just, this is it? You guys don't meet in person? Your congregation is just all online? We work uh, primarily with uh, in 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 our church. Yes, uh, with our with the youth primarily is where we spend most of our time. Um, we also the show that we do is uh, actually on uh, Montclair Public Access TV three um, on the Public Access in Montclair. We're actually we do our like Stephen. It, the show is I believe um, on the internet as well. We don't know uh, a lot about the internet actually. Um, but we are, I do believe that it is being also broadcast on, um, I think, our web, is it our, our church's website? Yeah, our church's on our, on our church's website, yeah. So, yes. That is beautiful. You guys are crusaders fighting the good fight, bringing it on the air, and you guys are just doing a great job with what you're doing. My congregation, we're having a bit of, of trouble. Uh, we've got a lot of darkies coming into the church. <laughs> Um, just want to say to everyone at home that um, for some reason we're experiencing uh, a fair deal of uh, prank phone calls. Um, uh, we apologize very much uh, if if that offends anyone at home. Uh, we're working uh, are through it. Um, we have Stephen uh, Stephen Chilton, who is. Um, who is screening these calls. So uh, hopefully in the next moment or so, we'll, we will be able to um, screen a lot of this out. So uh, once again, I apologize to anyone, uh, to our regular viewers um, about, about this. Um, for whatever reason, we're receiving a, a large amount of, of joke calls, but we will be sorting this out. So once again, please, please bear with us. This is very unusual. Hello, caller, and welcome to the program. I'm your host, Richard Burnish, and this is uh, the Jesus Chat Line. How was your Easter? Hello? Good. 
Hello. Hello, caller. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, we seem to have a bit of an issue with that one. Hello, and welcome to the Jesus uh, chat line on Montclair Public Access 3. Hi. Hello, caller. How, uh, how was your Easter? Uh, my Easter was pretty all right. You know, I had lots of uh, niggers coming into the party recently. They were fucked. Did that one? But um, just for everyone else, um, please keep the the calls clean. This this is a this is a family uh, program. Okay. Hello, caller, and, and welcome to the program. You're live on the Jesus chat line. Hello there, Richard. This is Trayvon Martin. I has recently come back from the dead. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Hello, sir. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you're coming through uh, loud and clear. Welcome to the program. Yeah, hello. Hey, I got a question for you about Easter and the bunny. We were doing some research, and I found this story, and I want to read it to you really quick. Sure, it certainly. Says, go, go right ahead. Why... Okay. It says, this is why the Easter bunny is included in Easter. It said, one day God was trouncing and spreading hellfire and brimstone upon the wicked when he... What does that say? When he came across a cute little bunny that caught his attention, God sat there stroking his beard, watching the cute little bunny wiggle his tail. Since God cannot be denied, God violated the bunny against its will. Sometime later, the bunny laid an egg in the forest. Mary, she wandered across this egg and heard the voice of an angel explain that the egg contained the child of God. So Mary took the egg home, prepared to incubate it. Since a woman sitting on an egg is easy to crack and kill the child, she did what all intelligent women of the, of the time did with magical eggs. Carefully, she pushed the egg up inside her vagina. There, the egg grew into little Jesus, and she gave birth to him while technically still being a virgin. I'm curious, just how true is that story? Uh, that, that's, that, that's, that's a... Right? Um... Sorry about that, everybody. There seems to be a large volume of of, of joke calls uh, coming coming through, but we're just going to keep on. Hello, and welcome uh, to the Jesus Chat Line on on Montclair Public Access TV. Um, what's your name? Chris. Well, hello, Chris, and welcome welcome to the show. How? Uh, tell us about your Easter. Did you have a Did you have a good Easter? Yeah. Yeah, I had a great Easter. That's great. I'm 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 glad to hear that. Did you uh, did you have a, perhaps a story or did you have a question uh, uh, for calling into the program? I guess I had um, a question on you know how to deal with anxiety and depression, really. Okay, well, let's hear a little bit more about that. What what kind of what kind of situations are are causing your anxiety? Um, you know, sexual abuse when I was a child. Um, but I, I, th I think that's where a lot of that stems from, what I'm feeling now at least. But, you know, I don't, well, I don't know how to deal with it. I, I, don't, I don't know how to, maybe I, you know, I'm not sure I take this, take like a spiritual perspective on it or, you know, I... I'm not too sure. I, I guess yeah. I'm just looking for, you know, anything to help me. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm very sorry that you had to go through that as as a child. No child should should ever be 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 abused like that. But the the strength of the Lord, Chris, is is able to heal and help all wounds. Have you seriously? Investigated Jesus and, and and accepting him into your life. Um, no, 
you know, that, and that's probably why I, I, I feel like I could, like I do. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm very interested. I just don't know where to go with it. Well, I would definitely recommend, uh, uh, we have some very helpful links on if you, JesusChatline.com, our site, I believe it is. Um, there's some very important resources there that I think you could help help you for later. But uh, right now, I just must say, uh, investigate Jesus, you know, contact contact yeah. your local Christian ministry and get involved. Um, the Lord has the, the, has the ability to heal all. And, and, and when you allow that, and when you when you allow that into in, into your lifestyle, and when you when you believe it, and 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 you practice it, you, I I promise you, Chris, that you will overcome this. I mean, is there? I, I don't know where to start. You know, with this kind of thing. But um, I don't really have. There's not not really a church where, at least not within. But then 30 miles, I don't, there, I don't know where to go. <laughs> There's, I don't really have a spiritual advisor. Well then, well, how, how about, how about this? How about, we'll take a quick break. I'll collect uh, your personal information and I'll, I'll share with you our, our, our private line. And you can call and speak with us whenever, whenever you would like. How would you like that? Later. Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to the Jesus Chat Line. Um, I'm the co-host of the show, Stephen Chilton. Um, welcome to all our viewers in Oakland on TOS TV3, and I'd like to um, wish everybody a happy Easter. Um, I'm going to start off my segment with an Easter prayer, um, and, and it's called an Easter prayer. Of all of God's gifts, Easter shows us our fate. Forgiven, we will rise and pass through heaven's gate. This Easter, remember the sacrifice of a son, and through his resurrection, eternal life we have won. This Easter, I pray that the love of God is resurrected, reborn, renewed, inside your heart. God bless you. Okay. Calling. Good evening. Welcome to the Jesus chat line. Go ahead, caller. Happy Easter. Um, hello. Hi. Good evening. Welcome to the Did you have a good Easter? Did you have a good Easter? Yes, I had. Yes, I did have hello. a good Easter. Good. Um, did you have a good Easter? Um, yes, I I just want to ask something. Go ahead. Uh, how exactly? I just want to ask something. Okay, I think we're having some uh, feedback problems there. Please turn down your television. Go ahead, caller. Welcome to the Jesus chat line. Happy Easter. Hi there. Happy Easter to yourself too. Welcome. Welcome. Go ahead, caller. Yes, um, I was wondering, what kind of passage would you kind of recommend if I were to do a Easter Mass or something for my school? If you were to do an Easter Mass for your school? Yes. Um, well, you can do the um, classic reading about um, them arriving to the tomb and finding that, um, G that the tomb is empty. That would be the, the greatest passage. That's the classic passage every Easter that's read. Um, welcome to the show, caller. Happy Easter. Hello, Stephen. How's it going? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm doing great. This is Father Josh. You may have seen me in the chat. Okay. Um... Go ahead. Well, you see, I today we had Easter, you know. It was at our house, and it was great, you know. But uh, something tragic happened. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm tearing up here. <sighs> My, 
a dog. She got in all the dad's cream. And okay, well, thank you for your call, and I'm. I hope you had a good Easter. Go ahead, caller. Happy Easter. No. Okay. Well, it does appear, though, um, our producers have stopped the um, issue we were having earlier. We have our regular calls seem to be back online again. Um, welcome to the Jesus chat line caller. Go ahead. Niggers. Niggers. <laughs> Welcome to the G Happy Easter. Hi, Brother Chilton. Yes. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Happy Easter. Thank you very much. Happy Easter to you as well. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you remember me, but um, I had attended one of your the uh, homosexual rehabilitation seminars a few weeks back. Um, Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I was the one that was making out with Randall in the tabernacle in the back of the field. Um, I think okay. it was Rich. I don't think that can be real. Um, just give me one second. Which... Okay, the calls are back online now. Um, so back to the phone lines we go. Happy Easter and welcome to the Jesus chat line. Um, hello? Hi. Um, happy Easter. Oh, thank you, caller. Same to you. Um, I'm only, I'm only 12 years old, and I, I came across this, and I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a pretty cool thing, so I wanted to call and talk about how good of a day I had. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, um, uh, I did Easter hunting today, and I thought that was pretty fun, and, uh, we had a good dinner, and did a lot of prayers, and uh, I just wanted to say, um, nigger, nigger, repeat, nigger. Happy Easter to the to the G, on the Jesus chat line. Go ahead. Okay, we have a lot of calls. We're going to try another one. Happy Easter and welcome. How you doing, Stephen? Hi. How much cocaine did you have today? Pardon? How much cocaine did you have today? All right, well, I think it's at this point that we're going to start to wonder whether we're going to go on with this or not. Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to the program after the break. Uh, we're, we're, for some uh, strange reason, we're receiving a large volume of, of, of prank calls, of joke callers that are really bringing down the show. Um, for those of you still tuning in and watching us on Public Access Montclair TV3, um, I'd very much like to apologize for all of this and, and thank you for, for, for sticking through this and, and, um, and supporting us through this. Uh, it's been a very unfortunate night and there's been, there's been a few call. I know it's not everyone, you know, that that's calling in perhaps, perhaps the phone number was written in, in wrote, wrote, written in a, in a, Someplace public, I, I'm not sure in a bath, in a, maybe in a, in a in a bathroom or in a men's room or something, but we may have to change our number if this continues. Um, and I'd like to thank everyone who is who actually called in for help and or called in to say something nice. 
Uh, we do very much value you and we love you all. Um, it's a few it's a few people that are looking to ruin it for everyone. And we're not gonna let that happen. That's that's not right. It's not right. So I'm asking everyone uh, who has been calling into the room this show, I'd ask you to grow up. And please leave this show to people who want to participate in it, okay? Be it alt about this. Thank you. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna come back and take a few more calls and see how they go. Um, it, it's all going to be de uh, depending on how they go. If they're going to go well, we'll continue with the show. But if, if, if we continue to get these over and over and over and over and over, we're just going to we're going to we're going to close the show off for tonight. It's just going to get shut down. And we'll come back during our next our regular our regular time. <laughs> Hello, caller. Welcome, welcome to the show. Hello, caller. Hello, caller, and, and welcome to the program. Hello, Richard. How are you doing today? Um, I'm, I, I, we're doing, we're doing. I'm doing very well, thank you. It's been a bit of a rough night, but we're persevering. Yeah, I'm. I'm really disappointed in all these in all these joke calls. It's just, you, know, you know, it's just it's, it's just a show. few people that are looking to ruin it for others, and that's, you know what? That's that's the world needs a show like this more than ever. Yeah. Well, I have a I have a problem that I'd like to talk to you about. Um, I have two kids. I have an eight year old son named Nicholas and a six year old daughter named Paige. And uh, you know, today you know Easter is rough because. Um, I was I was mowing the lawn, and we have we have rabbits in our backyard. And I was mowing the lawn, and I I accidentally hit one of the rabbits, and my my two children saw, and they they think that I hit the Easter bunny, and they're just destroyed about it, and they hate me for it, and I just don't know what to do. I just I feel so bad. Well, uh, I, I, I that is very unfortunate, but the thing. It was an accident, you know, and, and, and children, you know, they, they're very, they're, they're, they can be very confused about, about, about something like that. And I can understand how they're feeling, you know, but they will get over it. They will understand, you know, just simply explain to them that this was an accident, you know, that this, this, this was an accident that happened and that it was not the Easter Bunny. It just was a regular rabbit. Yeah, I mean, I keep trying to explain to them, but they just won't talk to me. They won't even, they won't even look me in the eye. Well, just, try making it up to them, perhaps. You know, maybe, maybe per, take take them out for ice cream or, or 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 something to get their mind off it. You know, and and explain to them that this was just an accident, and and they'll trust me. They they will come they will come around. Yes, thank you very much, Christopher. If you could. Maybe say a prayer for me. That would that would be very helpful. I would really appreciate certainly, it. certainly, dear Lord, may you bestow strength upon the caller, and and give him guidance and strength and leadership in his time of need. Help his children to understand what what it, what happened, uh, what occurred was an accident, and it was an unfortunate accident, but it it was not the Easter Bunny. Amen. Thank you very much, Richard. I, I really appreciate it. God bless. God bless. <laughs> you see, see those are the see those are the calls that we like to get. You know, though, though, when 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 we have the opportunity to help people with real calls, this is what it's all about. That, you know what? Maybe maybe this has changed the momentum around. So thank you to that caller for calling in. Thank you very much for calling in. You've really. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Hello, caller, and w welcome. Uh, oh no! What's I guess good, we, we lost that caller there. But speaking, speaking of children, 
uh, I'd like to take an opportunity um, to kind of go over some of the, the, the birthdays and some of the fan letters that have been uh, emailed um, to us, I believe, and mailed in. Um, on this next segment, um, in the spirit of Easter, that we like to call um, the children's chat line. So, um, first off, let's let's go through a couple. Let's go through a couple uh, of the letters that we've received. Where are they here? Okay, here is our first one here. All right. And where is it here? Okay, and it says it's from Okay, there's there's no name. It just says I have a lizard named Ernie. He has only 3 feet uh because one of them got caught in the door. I didn't mean to do it though. Would you fix it back again? Well, uh I'm sorry, but um, there's there's nothing that 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 God or or I can do um, for Ernie. But with love and care, um, he should be able to make to live a very healthy life with three legs. Okay, um, on to our next one, which comes from uh, Hello, Richard. My name is Carrie. And Carrie says, did baby Jesus cry all of the time? My new brother does, and I don't like it. Uh, Mommy says, all babies do, and I did when I was little. I'm six now, and I don't think baby Jesus ever cried. Um, He's God's son, so you must know the answer. Uh, We have a bet bet on it, so please write back quick. Well, I will assure you that, yeah, baby Jesus certainly did cry. He was... He was God's son, but um, he was he was human like all of us. All right, our next one um, letter that we have um, is says letter to Richard it says hello Richard. In Sunday school we learned that God are every God probably means as God is everywhere. Uh, how big is he? As big as Shaq? <laughs> he plays basketball and the biggest I've ever seen. Well, I am familiar with Shaq. And let me tell you um, that uh, God is even even bigger than Shaq. You know, he's, he's very large and he is everywhere. Your Sunday school teacher is very, very right. And we have one more um, from, okay, no, from, it says, Dear Richard, Actually, my name... Okay, never mind, actually. Uh, my turtle died. We, oh, it's very sad to hear that. Um, we buried her in our yard. Is she there with God now? If so, she really likes lettuce. Okay, well, yes, um, your turtle is with God, and she will be getting um, much, much, much lettuce. <laughs> very sweet. Um, and that's what Easter is about, getting a lot of these messages from children. Um, what else do we have? We have some drawings that were uh, uh, mailed to us here. We have a lovely one here from Michelle of a bunny. We have one. Oh, look at this one. That's very, a very, uh, very talented there. That's of a uh, of a scene there. Very great job. That's from Candace. And we have this one here from um, from Richard, actually. <laughs> Go figure. Um, we have another lovely one here from Kara. We have one here from another one from Melody. Uh, we have one here from Lawrence, which I think that's an Easter bunny. Good job, Lawrence. We have yet another one here from uh, Sophia. I guess that's a picture of herself. Uh, another one of, of Jesus on the cross. Now, Michael uh, did this one. And, okay. And lastly, um, we have our uh, birthday mentions. 
our first one here we have is from uh, Candace. Candace is turning six years old. Happy birthday, Candace. Uh, we have one here from Michelle. Michelle is also turning six years old. Happy birthday, Michelle. Cody. Cody is turning seven years old. Happy birthday, Cody. Uh, we have Douglas. He's turning 10. Happy birthday. And we have another one here from Kyle. Happy birthday, Kyle. Next time, uh, write your age. Don't forget to write your age, everyone. And we have uh, Daisy. Uh, Daisy is uh, turning 13 years old. Happy birthday, Daisy. Carolyn is turning six. Oh, look at this one. We have the team. And um, we don't... Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, this is from Kirk and from Garrett. They are um, both turning seven years old. I don't know if they're brothers. I guess maybe they're just friends with the same birthday. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday to Jasmine, who's turning 14. Uh, happy birthday to Julian, who's now turning eight. Happy birthday, Julian. Happy birthday to Sarah. That's an awesome, awesome shirt, Sarah. Happy birthday to Nick. Happy birthday uh, to Lyle. That's a, quite, the, quite the saxophone there. Happy birthday to Dennis, and he's turning 14 also. And happy birthday um, to uh, Pedro, who's turning 16 years old. It's looking good, Pedro. And finally, happy birthday to Tony, who is turning 11. So thank you, everybody, for calling in and submitting those. Um, we look forward to receiving more of them. More of them. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on the air. I am Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on computer pedophilia. call here. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. What's up, Richard, my homie? Hey, hello. It's it's Richard Burnish. How how uh, how was your Easter, caller? Good. And then yours? It was very good. Thank you. Um, we uh, we did a fair deal of volunteer work, and um, we 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 ate very well. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Where where have you guys been? Well, uh, we've been doing a fair deal of fundraising. Um, uh, the show, as you know, it, it costs a, has a small amount of of fee. We do receive a large uh, chunk of that in donations, but to pay for for the shows and and for the the, the some of the um, the graphics, um, we do need to do a, a fair deal of vol uh, uh, fundraising for for the show. That's good. Did you uh, eat out a chocolate bunny today? <laughs> you know what? I, I I did. Me and Stephen, we both shared one, so it was a, it was a good Easter. How about how about yourself? How was how was your Easter? It's all right. That's good. Did you do? Did you? Hung over. Oh, I see. A little. Uh, you drank some wine. I take it then. Yes, wine. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's and good. And do you drink wine? No, um, I, Stephen and I both we don't we both don't drink. Um, we did we did, however, uh, have some of our favorite drink, um, Dad's old fashioned cream soda. So we had some of Dad's uh, Dad's Dad's old fashioned cream. In the what in the, color was it? The orange, the orange soda. Yeah, that's our that's our favorite drink. Dad's cream. Yeah, Dad's cream soda. It's very. Uh, that's what we drink. I see. Stephen likes his uh, Dad's cream, huh? Okay. Okay. Um. All 
Anyway, I um, just want to apologize for everybody for some of the language that's been on this show. We're, we're just going to, um, we're not, we're going to be closing the calls though. We're Okay. Um, thank you everybody for tuning in. Good night.